at this side go right there. That, there you go, nice. Oh. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, hallelujah. I, uh, you, Okay. Kelly uh, Clarkson. It uh, doesn't kill you, Mitch. Uh, Go, you're there. Boom. She's pushing, he's pushing. Boom, here. You're right there. <laughs>So I know I've been working on you a little while, Justin, and we're dealing with this L4 uh, disc injury here. How long have you been a fighter, Justin? Uh, I started f training jiu-jitsu 2002. I went professional in MMA in 2008, and my last fight was 2015. Right. But I still continue jiu-jitsu up until the second episode here. And what I, I know everybody likes to focus on this. I like to focus actually on an area up higher, how, how young Justin's middle back is so this is this is sort of his bottom right back here this is the last disc at L5 right here and L5 looks great nice and hydrated the one above is where the injury is the spinal cord is this sort of dark tube right here the cerebral spinal fluid is nourishing the spinal cord a couple of these discs are starting to age a little bit here this one's where the discs actually hitting the spinal cord but the good news that Justin what we're gonna work on today is how young his middle back is the white is water these discs are nice and healthy, about 18 years old, and plenty of life can be attained in these areas. And we're going to try to loosen up the middle back where he's not injured instead of trying to manipulate or treat his lower back is the disc. Here's the spinous that you would feel on your back. There's all your muscles in here. This is the canal here, and that's the actual disc touching, him, yeah. touching the spinal cord. So What's his deal here? What's, what, is that right, these are explosion or... Right, it's a, what you're seeing, Little these little white guys are actually uh, bruises. So the white is water. So these are actually, the disc actually cracks the end plate. So the, what you're seeing is an, this is a compression injury okay. where the disc actually cracks the part of the bone where the disc contacts the bone called the end plate. Mm -hmm. That right here starts to release acid. That acid then goes into the disc, and that's why it's darker. That's why this guy's white, and these are darker. The uh, disc is actually becoming sort of uh, it liquefies it and allows it to start bulging over time again we want to prevent these two guys from going through the same thing okay. but these are all it's, it's the best image we have but I'm trying to see if there's any there's a little these are all little compression you know these are these are this is stress these are stress they're not fractures but they're stress points okay. this this shows you that the bone has been under stress Deep breath in for me head back for me let all the air out there you go and then I'll go Beautiful. Deep breath in. Let it all out. Let the jaw relax. And then one more. Exhale. Okay, oh, see All right. All right, breathe. There you go. Let this side go right there. Let, there you go. Nice. There you go. Let me hold your head. I got you. Let it go. Chin up. There. All right, I've worked on Justin for a little while, so it's, you know, for any new people out there. You're going pretty mean on Justin. You're not even asking him how he's doing. <laughs> Justin knows the, the jig is up. He knows mm. the game. And as much as he's been through, and I think after that, he had a, that incident in your, what was it, in your... Your bedroom or whatever yeah, that yeah, where you no. woke up in the morning and on the way to church I bent over to get socks out of the drawer it was right. just like the first time in uh, in May where I, I bent over on an angle right. at 7 a.m. and straight on the floor having church there in the bedroom so we, you know, part of it is that in the first half hour of the day the discs are the most unstable they're actually swollen because we haven't had any pressure on them all night long and so I think some injuries can only sort of happen at certain periods of the day. Uh, after the first half hour, hour, your the discs sort of normalize. You know, they, they you know, dissipate some of the fluid that's in them, and they're a little bit more stable. And so, right in the morning, I think usually brushing my teeth or any any activity doing in the morning where you're having to, you know, bend over forward, grabbing socks out of a drawer, brushing your teeth. You know, sort of support your back. Don't round your back out in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a Nobody teaches us 
how to protect our back and yeah. when it's yeah. I'm terrified to bend over now. I just squat for everything. I even say the word squat before I do it, just to remind myself. That's how I grew up. My dad was always, he was always, protect your spine, protect your back. It was just you know, almost to a, to a high level. It was like, well, you're not gonna, we're not going to lift anything unless we can do it protecting our backs. It was like a, it wasn't worth the risk. Mm -hmm. I think of every, every hit, every, you know, punch, every, you know, look at these ears. Mm -hmm. That's, that's. It feels like a, it's a rock. I mean, it's a guy. That's why I don't make Justin too mad. I'll, I'll beat him up, but if I start seeing him make a fist, because I know he can kill me, so I just you know. Uh -huh. I, I need you. <laughs> I'm just saying. So if if this happened to his ear, you know how much force went into his neck, mm -hmm. you know, and so the the joints in the neck had to had to deal with that force, and that's what I feel when I'm rubbing his neck here. There's our little lumps and bumps in here that are internal tears, scars, and that's what makes the head go forward. We're trying to get away from these injuries in here. It, the joints and the spine have a lot of feeling, and so the head goes forward to get away from them, and then the rigidity just in your neck. Your neck just is so powerful, and, and it um, goes into guard mode and protection, and, and while that might be a good short-term solution to have your muscles trying to hold everything together, it's not a great long-term thing to live with. All the soreness that the muscles are going to be producing, being so tight all the time. So part of this is when I'm rubbing your neck, the purpose of this is to convince your neck muscles to sort of let go, let the joints move. Your lymphatics will be healthier, your neck will flow more evenly. Uh, but you'll definitely feel more. When things are all bound up and stiff, you don't really feel much. And so it's a little bit of a, you know, I feel more in my neck now that you've got it loose, Ed, because I need your whole spine aging evenly. And if parts of your neck are real jammed up and stiff, then your neck won't age evenly, and then your lower neck ages too quickly, and then we run into the same sort of story your lower back went through. <laughs> There's this one guy I think okay. that caused this lower back issue in, in, okay. in, in October of 2017. Okay. I'm not gonna say his name. Sure, sure, sure. What what, what happened? He's a, a beast of a human. Okay. I just twisted the wrong way, and I remember thinking during the role, mm -hmm. "Wow, I've been doing this 18 years, and that's the closest I ever felt to my spine breaking." Wow. And then I moved on with my life, and maybe two months later, I was in a hot salt bath because I had a stiff lower back. Right. And that was the first episode <clears throat> of the disc. I hadn't experienced that pain before, but it was enough to where I could walk to the I could walk to the car and go to the emergency room I had never I do not go to the emergency room right and uh, that night I did they said there's no breaks in your spine because all they did was an x-ray mm. and then, uh, you know two years later here it comes again you had an injury and your muscles got tight right this so your, your muscles were trying to protect the disc what he felt was a you know tweak joint or a tweak disc and then the muscles got tight and we think to put heat on it and while the heat definitely relaxes the muscles then it right. It releases some of the guarding and protection, which allows the joint to now get further moved on and further press on the nerve. And uh, the heat actually swells the disc up, so it's it's tricky. So that's what I wanted to ask you. Yeah, I'm, I've been petrified to take like a really hot shower to have take a hot shower. Hot bath since yeah. it's happened. There's no more hot baths. Yeah, no, 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 please. Don't. You can take hot. Please don't take. Please take hot shower. I, I'm taking them like warm, but I'm not like hot like I used to. Just don't be standing with your on your back. Yeah. Just don't let the water. Okay. For more than thirty seconds or twenty seconds, right. I mean briefly, but you know we don't we don't want to heat up the lower back too much, especially in the morning. If you're taking a, like for me, I get up and get right in the shower. Mm -hmm. You know, so your discs are already swollen, and then you put heat on them in a hot shower right when you wake up. Mm -hmm. Again, it's more about when you're taking the hot shower. If you right. if you took one in the end of the day, probably wouldn't matter so much, gotcha. right? Gotcha. But if you take a hot shower first thing in the morning, you okay. get up and get right in the shower. Yeah, you better be okay. careful. Okay. It's powerful. It's powerful. I know, I know. Oh, that is power. Okay. All right. Let me have you sit for me. I have very high pain tolerance, and I will just say that, you know, those two episodes are unlike anything I can comprehend. <sighs> Nerves are right there. The end of the world. You, they, they don't want to be touched. And uh, they, they're kind of like passive-aggressive people that smile at you until... So they're not smiling at you anymore. <laughs> Stabbing you. You know, I 
joke with Et tu Brute? <laughs> you two Brutus? And, you know, he thought he was his friend until he was getting a knife. You know, nerves are sneaky like that. They don't they don't communicate with you until they're attacking you. And right there, it has that injury on the side right there. So the nerves travel through that tissue there. And if the tissue is inflamed, that's one thing that sensitizes the nerve and brings it closer to its firing point. But if you have disc and nerve injury, then, you know, right, just doing the muscle stuff is not... It's not dealing with the posture. So this is... Here's L5, that guy's okay, and then L4, right there, so the disc is inside of here, and so this is again the area where I say nobody should massage you, Justin, we leave this area alone, and he has these two guys that are sort of injured right here above, they're behind these, behind L4, but L3 and L2, so we're going to sort of start our care right above L1 and up is where you're going to see me spending my time working on those young areas, and right there... It's about T, T10, T11 on the left is where the tightest. So on the MRI, that they sort of that cross section is backwards. On the right side of the picture is actually the left side. So it's right. The left leg is the worst, right, Justin? Yeah. The disc was coming out and, and over to the left side, and so it's actually the right upper part of his back that's the cause. And so both both upper parts, both middle backs are responsible for, but restoring the functionality up here. What was your longest match ever in terms of like a professional match? What was the longest? Was it like 15, you know, 25 minutes, 15? Uh, in MMA, I, I like to finish my fights fast. Mm -hmm. um, but in Sarasota in 2008, uh -huh. I fought a guy who's just a stud. He was like my brother. Uh -huh. In fact, I still keep in touch with him. And uh, he, uh, he gave me the fight of my life. I, I won, but if it would have gone to the third round, uh, he would have would have finished me off. My adrenaline dumped in the second round. I've never experienced it before. I Good. won the fight, but at the end of the fight, I just, my body locked up. I'm like thrown up in the back. What is wrong with me? <laughs> and uh, I was, I was completely gassed. And so you were able to, you were able to tap him? I was able him? to get him in a, a triangle and then switch from triangle to arm bar. Gotcha. And uh, he tapped. But wow. He was tough. Man. Uh, But hopefully, if, if your husband can fix me, I can start to shit it.
told you before I saw you, before this happened, I had, uh, uh, maybe a year and four months ago, I was riding my bike and this arm just started to go numb. Mm -hmm. And I lived with it for about two weeks until the numb turned into nerve pain. Mm -hmm. And I realized it was right where you're at. It was coming from right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, 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 that's not funny. He's not even asking him how he's feeling. He's such a mean uh, doctor. Oh, <laughs> I think we know how he's feeling. <laughs> oh, oh. Here's like one comedian, you know. Goes to the gym and after he does some working out, how do you feel? Good. And five minutes later, how do you feel? Good. And one more time, how do you feel? I feel like God is punishing me. And if I'm a better person, he'll bring down an angel with a chicken pot pie and a cupcake. So now stop asking me how I'm doing. Uh, what is that? It's mm -hmm. not, or what is it? Uh -huh. uh. Ah! Uh, Ay, Dios mío! of it over right. three hours of mm. whatever that was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I call it go to the fifth dimension of hell. Mm. That's what it was. Mm. Sorry God for whatever I did. That's mm. where I was at. Mm. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I will do better. Thank you for what you did <laughs> for me. <laughs> if I was a horse, you would have been kicked already. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's like in the hip bone. Uh -huh. Right. You got to release that uh, uh, SI joint. Well, anybody watching this just know that he can kill me anytime. Yeah. He could, I'm sure he could flip his way out of this. <laughs> I'm sure you could just touch my spine right. a certain way down and <laughs> collapse. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> uh, Has anybody seen her? Do you see uh, Kelly? Uh, my Sharona. Uh, okay. Listen, five seconds. Five. Uh, that's the first one. Uh, Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Uh, where is she? Uh, uh, it doesn't kill you, Mitch. Uh, uh, there it is. Uh, uh, right there. Uh, 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 <laughs> but anything's better than going through these two episodes again. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 u
I started sitting at dinner again mm -hmm. four days ago. That's nice with the dinner all but Nice, there you go. I think my biggest problem last March was that big toe you're holding on to uh -huh, right there. Right. It goes out of socket like every five days, ten days. The big, the left one used to, but then after this happened, I don't even hear from that anymore. <laughs> I don't know if I don't even register the pain anymore or it's just a new pair of shoes I bought, but it is completely silenced. The joint, the joint might try to come up to your brain and talk to you. It's like, <laughs> uh, hi, oh, is this not a good day? Uh, it's gone. <laughs> it was like every five days. Oh, uh, come, sit come, down. come back next year. Okay. <laughs> Awful. So it's like the, the nerves there that show pain are now like, yeah. <laughs> the big toe comes up to the brain. The brain's so exasperated. It's like, not today, I guess. Okay. It finds it quit giving me a hard time, which is nice. I guess. <laughs> It was you and your dad said, yeah, so your L4 is like a piece of bacon now. So I've been having like daymares about that. Oh like, my. I'm thinking like, it's just a piece of, little piece of bacon Cooked there. piece of bacon, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Went from soft and flexible to whatever it is now. <laughs> Crispy. Slap, was it? Snap into a Slim Jim. up his middle back, loosen up his SI joint. Um, I wanted to loosen it up a little bit again because this area is partly responsible for the lower back injury. This area being stiff allows when he's doing his martial arts all the stress to have happening at the bottom. So we're going to loosen up this SI joint a little bit. Bottom leg straight, top leg bent. There we go. go pretty. We're just going to stretch for a second into it. There you go. Just going to try to loosen his middle back a little bit. There we go. There it is. Good. 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 Okay, I got you, brother. I got you. Breathe. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay. 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 It's So that, so that, a lot of that discomfort, obviously, Justin, was from the resistance of so the, the protection that you built up over the years. And we're trying to unglue areas, and if it moved easily, you wouldn't need to be here. You wouldn't need to be adjusted. You could just go to stretching. So we have to sort of take them that deeper level to unlock the spine. And you know, as much as I love Justin, sorry, buddy. You know, we got, but we got to break through those walls. And here we go. Breathe. Good. where he's at home stretching. He keeps this part of his back engaged and then trying to keep this arch in his back. And it's starting to sway here pretty good. We're trying to keep that arch in here. That takes the pressure off the front. And he'll be here till 100. Get along. If you want to be here another five years, 10 years, you don't need me. But if you want to be, make it to 100, <laughs> this is it. This is a oh my goodness, I've never felt an ear like this. Uh, that one, I can't put earbuds anymore. The other one I can't. Do it. I got you. All right, tilt your head to the left a little bit for me, bud. Oh, no, I gotta get a better grip. All right. I think it's the best grip I'm gonna get. Turn your head left. There we go. What just happened? <laughs> that was weird. Let's <laughs> see if anything up here. Come on, brother. Just adjust it. Tilt your head left for me a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think that's up. Engine's in there. Try to the right a little bit for me. There we go. There we go. Come on, see if I get this. Oh, no. I'm going to get a 
the top. That is fucking ear, man. That is your poor ear. My wife told me, she was like, this wasn't part of the deal when we got married that you're going to go like that. So now I want you to punish him. So we'll go over the first basic arm bar you learn in jiu-jitsu. It's one of the first ones. You learn the arm bar from the guard on your back, and then you learn one when you have the guy mounted. So um, we'll go over the the mounted one. All right, so you're going to be on your back, all right? (laughs) Boom, here. You're right there. (laughs) And then if the guy's a skilled jujitsu guy, he'll try to he'll try to run his legs this way, uh-huh. yes, and get out. So a high level guy, you want to grab his pant or you want to grab his leg and keep him here <laughs> and break his arm. <laughs> you can try it. Come on, do it once. Mm-hmm. You may have to. You want me to move the mic? Find someone. Oh my right. lord. I have both baseball bat grip on the arm, right? Baseball bat. Baseball. Right there. Baseball. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Baseball. yeah. Yes, knees pinched together, heels down, because right. if sure. your leg is sure. loose, I'll come sure. right up. So sure. you want to drive me down with your leg, right? <laughs> yes, and then pull, and then you lift your hips up slowly, slowly on the vulcrum to, to finish. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, that was a fun time. That was awesome. Thank you. That's what Dr. Ed gets after he